So this is day uh, 91 of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill and uh, I'm here on, this is Grand Isle, Louisiana. Um, and uh, all the way back there, those guys are standing on that huge mat of oil. I'm in Kaminata Pass and all of this right here, all of this dark stuff are thick mats of oil. That washed in um, in the very beginning of this uh, whole thing. And so right now I'm looking at, you know, uh, a swath that uh, in places is over 20 feet wide and, uh, you know, at least 40 yards long of oil that in places is six inches thick. You know, right here, I can't even kick that, but that's, that is all oil right there. Look at that. That is oil. I mean, there's sand in there, but for the most part, that is just straight oil. Congealed, nasty, weathered oil. Day 91. Meanwhile, anybody could catch a fish right here and eat it. Right now, it's totally legal to catch a fish right here and eat it. So here we have this uh, huge bar and mat of uh, oil that's been here uh, for weeks now. Um, it was here uh, in late May, came in in the first big wave of oil. Um, just up the beach, we've got lease turns. Right there, there's a lease turn landing in oil that's been left here for, uh, I guess, uh, we're gonna say six or seven weeks now. There's no public access to this beach, and so there's no incentive whatsoever to clean this up. Look at this bar here, and we go over this bar, and all of a sudden, the sand is black with oil. And uh, you can see the line all the way down here and uh, it looks like it probably runs right under this bar. Uh, tomorrow I'm coming back and I'm going to bring a shovel. Um, I can smell the oil right now. It smells just like the very first days of, uh, of being out on Grand Terre Island. Um, let's see uh, oil bubbling up from the sand as it heats up and uh, just floats away all this oil in here, the sheen on the sand, the poor little hermit crabs, oil everywhere in here. Not to mention a reddish egret. You know, I've been feeling like I've been straying from my duty harping on this cleanup effort here, but this is exactly why I'm doing it. This oil has been here for seven or eight weeks, saturating this, saw, this sand. This whole beach is a 50 yard by 20 foot wide swath of oil, and that's just what you can see. Who knows what's under the sand? Nobody's cleaning this up. And here we have the, this reddish egret here foraging right in the sheen, right in this awfully contaminated water from this incredible amount of oil that's still sitting here, that's been here since the end of May.